Apple has just concluded its Glow Time Apple event. They announced the Apple Watch Series 10 Ultra 2 refresh. We have the iPhone 16, 16 Pro. We have new AirPods. This is a bunch to talk about. Let's kick things off with the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch Series 10, I was expecting to see a totally brand new redesign. And first and foremost, I find it hard to believe that it's been 10 years since Apple introduced the Apple Watch. And I remember getting that as a high school gift and wow, that was 10 years ago. But anyway, Apple introduced a brand new design for the Apple Watch Series 10 and it looks similar, but now they trunk the bezels, they made the chassis more thinner, and also you have this brand new polished aluminum jet black finish and it looks stunning. No longer you need to get the expensive Apple Watch to get a glossy finish. And if you can recall from the iPhone 7 jet black, this is a very similar treatment. But Apple did rework the speaker, so now you could play audio on your Apple Watch standalone, play Apple Music directly from your Apple Watch using its speaker. The display is 40% brighter, and this is making it the thinnest Apple Watch ever. This is something that I will have to test out, which by the way, you can pre-order right now as we speak, and will be available next week on September 20th. Now for that polished aluminum, it remains the same price point, starting at $399. The aluminum comes in jet black, rose gold, and silver, but the jet black is the only color that has that glossy look. But the only thing with the aluminum, it comes with that X iron glass, which is easily scratchable. You can easily scratch that Apple Watch display. You will have to step up to the titanium model, which has that sapphire crystal, and also Apple polish up the titanium, giving it a more shiny look. This polished titanium, is gonna be replacing the stainless steel. And this is technically a good thing because, well, it's 20% less weight than the stainless steel series nine. So now you have the S10 chip, which is gonna bring in more performance and you can charge the Apple Watch a little bit more faster. And pretty much that's the series 10. It's not that big leap that we was hoping for. And now what about the Apple Watch Ultra? Well, you think you'll get an Apple Watch Ultra 3? That is not the case. Apple has refreshed the Ultra 2. Now it is coming in satin black finish. Finally, we have a black Apple Watch Ultra and everything else is exactly the same. So you still have the S9 chip from last year and you still have the same design as we saw on any other Apple Watch Ultra. It's just a brand new color that you're getting. So that PVD coating better be strong because I am gonna be testing that out. Uh, I did order that too as well. I'm going to be comparing that Jet Black Series 10 versus the Black Titanium Polish and as well as the Black Satin Ultra 2. I'm going to be comparing everything. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. The AirPods Max. Finally, we got a refresh. It's been since December 2020. It's very simple, very subtle. We're getting brand new colors, a fresh coat of paint, and Type C. That is it. I wish Apple would have done a little bit more, maybe give us the H2 chip at least instead of the H1, uh, maybe upgrade the Bluetooth coming from 5.0 to 5.3. Apple has officially introduced AirPods fourth generation or AirPods 4. Now this is, this is a pretty surprising one and I'm very curious to see how this is gonna compare to the AirPods Pro. First and foremost, you have a brand new design shape. Hopefully that would fit some people's ears. AirPods 4 improves the sound compared to its predecessor. And for the first time ever, you're getting active noise cancellation. No longer you need to go up to the pros to get noise canceling. Alongside with that, you have transparency mode, adaptive audio, and as well as conversation awareness. And a nice little touch, you have a speaker on the charging case, so you can easily locate your AirPods using Find My. Now you can also pre-order the AirPods fourth generation today. Apple also introduced the AirPods fourth generation without noise canceling. That's gonna run you $139 versus the one with noise canceling that's gonna run you $180. And I think that price point is too close to the AirPods Pro because on Amazon, you can get the AirPods Pro uh, for $199. And this will also be available on September 20th next week. You guys gotta brace yourself, put your seatbelt on because it's gonna be a lot of videos to make. And also there was a bunch of updates to the AirPods Pro. Everything is related to software, reducing the environmental noise to prevent hearing loss. If you have AirPods Pro now, 
you don't need to go out and get new AirPods, which is a good look. The iPhone 16 has officially been revealed and it's exactly what we expected. Just according to the leaks and rumors and everything, this is how the iPhone 16 looks like. And it is featuring that camera control button. And this is gonna allow you to quickly access your camera, control the different options. And that camera control button is gonna be very interesting to test out because that's right there by the palm of my hand if I hold my 16. How is it gonna react to accidental presses? And even with Apple intelligence, there's something called visual intelligence where if you press the capture button, I keep on calling it capture button, the camera control button, you could be able to have a visualization on what you're looking at. And I gotta say, looking at these colors on the iPhone 16, these colors look way better than the iPhone 15. Everything looks gorgeous, especially that blue. That blue, that's probably one of the best iPhone blues in a little while. That's the color, if I was picking the 16, that's the color I'll go with. You have 2000 nits of brightness. You have that action button, which we got last year on the 15 Pro and Pro Max. Now this is featuring the A18 chip. So going from the A16 to the A18 chip, this is gonna bring in more efficiency, more power. And of course, this is gonna power Apple intelligence, which is the whole push of this entire event. So it's using 30% less power compared to the iPhone 15. And of course you get an eight gigs of RAM here. So that's gonna be the requirement for the Apple intelligence. The A18 chip is gonna bring better battery gains. And of course you get in that larger battery too as well. But the iPhone 16 is gonna be a pretty good phone, I must say. Of course, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, getting all the colors so you guys can decide which color you should go with. All right, so what about the Pro? Apple introduced the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, and this is the largest iPhones Apple has ever made, coming in at 6.3 and 6.9, nice. I've been thinking, I might wanna step down this year to the 16 Pro opposed to the Pro Max model, just considering on how big these phones are getting. 6.3 inches, hey, that's what she said. That is, gonna, that, that is gonna just be insane. So I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna let you guys know which one I'm gonna go with. It's featuring that grade five titanium. So it's gonna be nice and durable. I'm definitely gonna be getting all the colors. I'm gonna be testing everything out. Colors this year for the 16 Pro is gonna be that desert titanium. And this is basically bringing back gold to the iPhone. It literally looks like natural titanium, but they just boosted the statuation up by like 20 or maybe even 50% because it looks a little bit more, it looks a little bit more louder compared to natural titanium. Now, of course, for the Pro, you need that Pro chip. This is coming in with that A18 Pro chip. What really got me with the Pro models every single time, the cameras. I mean, you get a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera along with the regular wide camera, 48 megapixels. And of course you have that telephoto lens and you can record up to 4K at 120 Hertz. I mean, I might not use that too much because social media and all the networking and everything that I do, 120 Hertz is gonna be very rare that I'm gonna record in. But one thing that is interesting is the audio mix. That's something that was, it blew me away. Something as simple as that blew me away. You can change the audio to make it sound more cinematic. What even blew me away was The Weeknd, right? You know, The Weeknd's album is dropping. They shot a music video using the iPhone 16 Pro. And one, I can't wait for The Weeknd's album, Hurry Up Tomorrow. And of course, the iPhone 16 Pro, I cannot wait to test out the video recording. I'm gonna be, you know, that day in life is gonna be amazing. And just like every single year, if you want the best possible cameras ever on an iPhone, you gotta go with the iPhone 16 Pro or Pro Max. And even 120 Hertz refresh rate ProMotion is still present on the Pro series of iPhones. The regular models still is stuck at 60 Hertz. You even have S-Log video recording that you could still do, faster data transfer on the Pros. So there's certain situations where the Pro is gonna be way better, but for the average consumer, really tomato tomato they both amazing for iphones they are you start to see a trend with apple the regular models are starting to become like the pros i mean you still get in macro photography mode you have a 48 megapixel on the regular wide camera you even see celebrities like ariana grande came from the pro iphone to a standard iphone plus model 
So it's a thing. People are stepping down to the regular models because the differences are becoming more minimal as the year is going on. Needless to say, the iPhone 16 is gonna be a very important iPhone. This was the first iPhone built for Apple intelligence in mind, and Apple intelligence is the future. I mean, love or hate it, this is the future that we headed in. Whoever has an iPhone 13 or earlier should potentially upgrade to the iPhone 16 series. If you have an iPhone 14 or even 15 for that matter, I wouldn't even worry about the iPhone 16 too much. That is where I'm going to conclude today's video. If you guys found this one helpful, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Comment down below which iPhone are you planning on getting. And of course, this week, Friday the 13th, which is crazy, we're going to be able to pre-order the iPhone 16 series. And you guys don't want to miss that video at all. All right, guys, until next time, I hope you all have a simple day. Peace.